A huge thank you to patron Ilamize Poulos for suggesting today's video topic. If you want to suggest a topic for next Wednesday's Name Explain video, all you have to do is support Name Explain on Patreon for $1 a month. Find out more by visiting patreon.com forward slash name explain, which will be linked down below. Anyway, there's this repeated history in written language of using numbers in the place of letters. This all stems from the fact that many numbers and letters do actually look a lot like one another. This can be super obvious with the letter O and number 0 looking alike, and the letter I and the number 1 almost being identical. Some are a tad more obscure, like 7 in place of a T which I can kind of see I suppose, or even using 4 as letter H which just about makes sense if I squint my eyes. In most cases, when we replace letters with numbers, it's because we have no other options. Options. There are instances where we want to write specific words and the full alphabet isn't at our disposal, so instead we use numbers. This is best seen in two scenarios. If someone wants a personalized plate that reads Bob, but that's taken, they can instead spell it 303, and that kind of gets the job done. In most cases, we use a mixture of letters and numbers on license plates to create all kinds of words. Then we have calculators. It's a school pastime to form words using these things. Traditionally, calculators tend to only have numbers and fairly basic digital displays, meaning you can make all sorts of words with them, especially if you turn them upside down. According to one Reddit thread, the longest word you can type on a calculator is Bibliologies, which is the number 531-607-017818 upside down. And of course, we've all typed 531-8008 into a calculator and turned upside down at least once, right? These are examples of people using numbers as letters out of necessity rather than out of choice. But there's also an example out there of people actively choosing to use numbers in their words in the place of letters. In fact, it's even like its own little language of sorts. This being something known as leet speak. Leet speak, or just leet, is a really interesting thing. It's equal parts of remnant of the past, but also incredibly instrumental in forming how many of us communicate today. Even if you've never heard of leet speak, you have most likely used it or seen it being used. It's the written form of our language, but using numbers in place of letters to the extreme. For example, the name of leet speak unto itself is often spelt with threes instead of e's. You can even adapt the entire name into numbers and spell it one, three, three, seven. Other examples of words in leet include dude spelt d zero zero d, or even my own name of Patrick spelt p a seven r one c k. You can really translate any word into leet. Leet can even go beyond just numbers. Writers of this language have found ways to replace every letter of the alphabet by using everything but the letters themselves. Some are super creative like a question mark as a P, or even a line followed by a greater than sign for a K. It's a supremely unique and fun way of displaying languages in the written form. But where exactly did it come from? Who do we have to thank for this unique way of writing and this creative use of numbers and other symbols as letters? Well, like most cases of people shaping the world, we have to thank nerds. Leet speak is something heavily linked with the early days of computing and digital communication, even being used prior to the internet. It has its origins in the 1980s when digital communication was still very much in its infancy in places like old chat rooms, message boards and communication tools known as bulletin board systems, or BBSs for short. This was when online communication and even the internet was still a wild west of sorts. It wasn't as polished or monitored as it is now and only people who really understood how to use it were enthusiasts in this niche. Yet even so, not everyone in these chats would have been using Leet. Most write out their messages using the ample letters that keyboards provide. Leet speak was instead reserved for a niche of people within this niche, that being hackers and coders and the like. Leet is deeply linked to the world of 80s hacking, when according to movies, all hacking was was typing through on a keyboard as green text scrolled across the screen. It's through hackers as to where the name of this language comes from too. Leet is simply a shortening of Elite. It received the name as people who acquire Elite status on message systems like BBS were allowed to do things like access folders and even enter special chat rooms. On the whole, these people would have been hackers, so hackers would have been seen as elite, and the way they spoke would have been dubbed elite speak and shortened to just elite speak. These hackers, like everyone else at the time, too could have used letters as much as they wished, but instead they actively chose to use elite speak and replace many of their consonants and vowels with numbers. As to why exactly they chose to do this, we have a few theories. The leading theory is that elite was used by hackers as a secret language of sorts, a way to communicate without catching the attention of those trying to track them down. Hacking is of course a frowned upon activity, and depending on who you hack, it can get you into a lot of trouble. This has led to early hackers trying to escape the eyes of the law, and Leet Speak was their supposed solution to this. 
At first I found this odd, as leet is pretty easy to decipher to most people, even if you've never seen it before. Unless the cops of the 1980s were really bad at their job, I'm sure most of them would have been able to read leet with no issues at all. The thing is, leet wasn't created to avoid human eyes, but instead the robotic eyes watching over communication at this time. Many chat systems had lists of banned words in place, or words that when typed out would raise the alarm. To get around this system, numbers would be used in place of letters, which would have been easily understandable to humanize, but wouldn't set off the computer's internal alarms. Today, these sorts of trigger word systems are much more sophisticated, being able to detect bad words even when they are spelt with numbers. But the reason they are so smart today is because back in the past, LeakSpeak was able to override them. At least, that's a theory anyway. This is similar to how we've used language in the past too. Other tongues have come into being to avoid the detection of the law, with the most notable one being called Thieves Can't, which emerged in Britain for thieves to talk publicly without the authorities catching them. Leet speak could be seen as the 80s version of this can't. A second theory on the origin of Leet has less to do with hiding from the law, but instead alerting others that you are like them. Leet speak can be seen as an identifier of sorts, a way to let people know that you are a hacker too and a similar ilk to them. We humans love being part of a group and do things like this to signify to others that we have things in common. This can be in the form of in-jokes or even specific clothing. Like if I see someone else in a pro wrestling t-shirt, I normally compliment them to let them know I'm part of that weird little group too. This is even applicable to languages, and here we can see leet being used as one of those little things that lets other people know that we are like them and in that same weird group. The final theory on the original of LeetSpeak is far more innocent, and that's the idea that it came into being as a way of being more expressive online. In this day and age, it's super easy to show off your own unique identity in the online world. We have display pictures, banners, and all sorts we can do to let people instantly know what we are like. In the past, this was far from the case. Computers of the 1980s didn't have pictures, emojis, or GIFs which could aid in communication. In most cases, chat rooms composed of little more than text a blank screen. People wanted a way to express themselves more personally in the way they communicated, so formed Leet as a way to do that. It might sound silly to us now, but back then this was really the only way you could make yourself stand out in the digital crowd. It was most likely through one of these three options in which Leet came into being, and at its inception it was a really niche thing used by a small group of people on a very small platform. However, that platform grew rapidly over the following decades. Digital slash online communication went from being a thing only did to something more or less everyone has access to over the course of the 90s, 2000s, and 2010s. Today, it is likely the most commonly used form of communication outside of talking to someone in person. This resulted in Elite Speak finding itself appearing in wider online discourse, as those who spoke it in the early days of chat rooms were using it in more popular online locations like MySpace or other forums. From here, Leet Speak flooded into the wider world in a big way, yet it didn't come to be the dominant tongue of the internet. Instead, it kind of just intermixed and got absorbed into wider online language. This somewhat led to the demise of Leet Speak. It's definitely not an entirely dead tongue. Many people still use it today, either ironically or otherwise, but also specific words which originated in elite speak have found traction today as well, like noob, spelled N00B, own, spelled 0WN, and woot, spelled W00T. These are still commonly heard in corners of the internet today. These are words that were born in elite speak and managed to survive while the rest of the language died out from mainstream usage. This has led to Leet becoming a remnant of internet's past and a fun quirk in online communication. If you happen to be around in those 80s chat rooms when Leet was kicking off, please share your experience down below. Tales from the early days of computing and the internet is something I always love hearing about. What Leet ultimately shows us, however, is like we've seen on upside down calculators and on vanity plates, numbers can not only survive in the place of letters, but thrive. Name Explained depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon, so a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explained videos, and your name at the end of the video with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash Name Explained or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. 
Thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All of that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.